Hey guys, it's Access Denied here with another vlog. <sighs> Alright, we're working on an IRC uh, client at this moment. Now, the thing about this video is it's actually pretty important. Um, I did something pretty amazing, or what I think is. what IRC is. Back in the days of YVD, there was an IRC server, which is Internet Relay Chat. It's a fairly old style of communication that's mostly used by nerds. Uh, there's places like Freenode and um, Undernet that are IRC servers. Um, YVD came with an IRC client that would automatically connect to the uh, Zero Creative Server, which is the name of the group that creates YVD, and people would chat. They'd be dropped off in the main room, there'd be rules and information that would pop up immediately, a message of the day, and they would use IRC commands to communicate with each other. With the IRC server, um, there's a small administration over the whole entire server and then there's individual owners of uh, rooms that you're able to create in an ad hoc manner similar to say um, a list of private messages with multiple people in your Facebook uh, but there's no back history it's when you're there it's the people that are there and you can see what they say uh, there's a number of modes that can be set on rooms that allow various things that happen or not happen and you can ban somebody from the room or you can set the room to private and invite people in or you can get a list of all the rooms that are on the server and explore it. So I felt that the way that IVD did the community communication and management of teams, clans, rulings, um, a, a variety of things as far as the social system went. Um, I think they did a good job and I'm trying to emulate that. They used that in IP boards which DN and Duelist Grounds also use. So I, I purchased um, Envision Power Boards uh, and a theme for $200 and put that up. So what I did next is pretty revolutionary. <sighs> uh, let's see here. We are using an Inspire server. Uh, YVD used Unreal, I believe. But we're using um, Inspire, uh, I call it Inspire uh, CD or Inspire D. Inspire D. Um, we're using Inspire D to act as our server because uh, somebody created this which allows for WebSocket connections. Now, it's extremely rare for an uh, IRC daemon to allow a direct connection to a browser. Uh, the WebSocket specification is relatively new and like it's been out for the past five years or so and the browser support has been pretty much lacking and speaking directly to the creators of um, these various um, IRC daemons, um, for example, like an IRC daemon that's complete that's written completely in freaking JavaScript and using Node doesn't even have WebSocket connections, which is a damn shame. But this guy 
he went and did the specification um, in C++ and I can actually I'll have a really hard time reading this which is strange um, and I saw two implementation, implementations of this for Inspire so um, it reads off a header file and creates a secret key for the server um, this should probably be randomized in some way to be honest but whatever um, and then it returns the the full header thing and this allows for a, uh, a WebSocket connection to be established there's a normal HTTP request which is this header followed by whatever body um, is in a, a state um, uh, it, but going over the HTTP protocol um, you know it's a TCP socket over port 80 um, sends out the header text and then the body which is the HTML file or whatever is attached to it this upgrades it to a bidirectional TCP socket which is basically a buffered TCP socket um, and then looking down at these last couple of functions um, it does a wrapper and then um, it adds uh, the rest of the stuff into Inspire so that it can process down this hook instead of down the regular TCP socket so it does a little um, buffer for the browser to understand a little wrapper um, and then what it would send normally down a TCP socket and so when it hits me it looks like this like I can I can legitimately see everything that is coming down from my server and it, it comes down like little chunks kind of but it's it's perfectly understandable and I'm getting all the data everything um, raw modes here um, and I can do stuff like uh, I did a hashtag lobby hashtags are used for room names like if you see hashtag I'm in the room and see so I join the lobby here and then I can Messages room. I want to message writer and say, Hey, you are on video. See if you respond in the next 20 seconds. See who else is in this room. Um, it's just writer. That's odd. And just to kind of show off that I'm, I'm not. bullshitting at all here. Uh, I really need to fetch a shit for this thing. Oh yeah, that's the other 
problem that they're currently working on is that only one person can be connected to the server at a time. So I'm going to do the quit command. I think it works now. Let's go connect. Yeah, there we go. So I need to do something about that and see if I can fix that. But if I close this, you'll see that I am able to connect. Fresh. Open. Yeah. And we go right back in. of all the people that were there. So, this is pretty revolutionary, to be honest. This is going to allow us to um, have dual request because these commands that come down um, we have what I received. All the commands that I have to figure out and implement for the client. There's a lot of them. I mean, I'll get through it eventually, but you know, like, there's only so much stuff that I'll need to do. Um, but I can, I, I, I can figure out pretty, uh, pretty well. Um, it's going to take me a lot of time to implement it, but we'll have a uh, dual request once we have the chat system up and running. I had asked Butts to uh, write the uh, chat client using IRC protocol, and he said that, nah, I'm just going to write my own server because I can't figure out this part. Um, I figured it out, and I knew what to start with, and Ryder knows it, and like we talk about which commands we're going to implement first, which ones are more important, which ones not to, like we just don't want people doing that shit. Um, but, I mean, it's it's getting there, it's, it's, it's really good in there. I'm, it's just going to be a few more months, though. So, I'm going to end the video here. Um, I'll have another vlog up, probably, um, 
later tonight. Uh, take care, guys.